Chapter 1 to 6. My name is Ken Lee, I've been living in this world for seven years now. In those seven years, I have become one of the strongest men alive. Where might I be you wonder? Well, I am in a world that most people would have considered fictional, I'm in the world of Dragon Ball. I know, sounds crazy right? Even I thought this world was fictional. That is until I tried to be a hero and got killed, the key word is, tried. Thinking back, sometimes I wonder why I did that, I don't even like heroes that much. Anyway, my mother passed away when I was born so I never knew who she was. My father though, I never liked him very much. I used to live with him along with grandma. It seems like father blamed me for mom's death. Although he never tried to be a father to me, he was not an abusive father either. That's unless he's drunk. Even then he doesn't hit me, he just yells a lot for even the tiniest of reason. Grandma was the only family member that really took care of me when I was small. She always seems to find a way to cheer me up whenever I feel down. She took care of me in place of father who didn't and mom who couldn't. Unlike father, she was the best grandma anyone could ever hope for. Even though father was never a big part of my life, grandma was always there for me so I never felt that I have a bad family. In fact, I was that one kid that always seemed to have too much energy to spare. Everything was going good for me until a week after my ninth birthday. Grandma fell sick and was admitted to the hospital. Without her there at home, I start to notice how much I depended on her. Still, being nine I thought she had something common, like a cold and that she will return home after a while. Every day after school, I'll always visit her. This became the norm for me for the next three months. It was Friday right before summer vacation started. I went to the hospital, happy I can spend more time with grandma. It was then that I got the news of grandma's death. For a few days, I try to understand what's going on, not truly knowing what it means for someone to die. It wasn't until later that I understand that it means I won't be able to see her again. About a month after the grandma passes away. Father dropped me off at an orphanage and never came back. I don't blame him as we never really like each other much. The only reason he didn't put me into an orphanage sooner was because of grandma. Father still pays for my school even after he left me at the orphanage. With grandma gone, I felt like there was something missing in my life. Although I try to not show it at school, my teacher and friends still noticed that I was less energetic than usual. As I got over grandma's death and accepted it, I slowly got back to my old self. Even then, I never feel complete. This went on for about a year until one of my friends introduces me into the world of anime and manga. I was instantly hooked on it with my favorite series being Dragon Ball, Pokemon, Naruto, and One Piece. Dragon Ball was my favorite because, like me, the owner of the orphanage was also a big fan of it. Being an orphan, it was kind of hard to get copies of the shows to watch or read, but because the owner was a fan too, he was nice enough to let me borrow his manga to read. He even brought all the Dragon Ball movies and would sometime put it on to distract the kids when the adults needed a break. At 11, I'm getting ready for middle school after a long winter break. At the bus stop, city bus not a school bus, I'm waiting with a kid from the same orphanage as me. His name is Kane and he's about 3 years younger than me. One of the caretakers is supposed to be here with us, but he has to use the bathroom so we were left alone for a bit. With nothing to do, I start to read the latest Dragon Ball Super manga I borrowed. As I'm getting close to the ending, I hear Kane scream, he. Before the sound is suddenly cut off. Looking over, I saw two masked men carrying an unconscious Kane into an alley near the bus stop. I know I should go look for help but instead of doing that. I drop the manga and run after the two kidnappers. As I was got close to the alley, I overhear one of the kidnappers, which I will now call kidnapper one says, hurry up, we have to leave before the caretaker comes back. We don't want an ex-military soldier behind our back. The other, who I named Kidnapper 2 ask, what about the other kid? Hearing them talk about me, I quickly hide behind a dumpster. What about him? He's too old for what we need. Kidnapper 1. You think he might have seen us? Kidnapper 2. No I checked, he was too engrossed in what he was reading to pay attention. Now hurry up and help me move him into the car. Kidnapper 1. Shit, I thought before hearing H-E-Y. What are you doing to that kid, making the kidnappers turn toward me? I wonder who would be stupid enough to alert the kidnapper before looking around and realizing that it was me. Not knowing what to do, the kidnappers and I just stare at each other. A few seconds pass before kidnapper 2 said, I thought you said he didn't see us. Well, I was wrong. 
Now go take care of him before any more trouble comes along, Kidnapper 1 reply annoyed. Why don't you do it? Kidnapper 2. Cause I said so. Kidnapper 1 glare at him. Fine, just hurry up and get the kid into the car, Kidnapper 2 grumble. Double shit, what am I supposed to do now? I look around for something, anything that can help me in this situation. Not finding anything, I look back at the kidnappers only to find Kidnapper 2 right in front of me. Um. I, I don't suppose we can t-talk about this. I ask as I nervously back away. Sorry kid, nothing personal but I have a job to do. Kidnapper 1 said confusing me for a second before feeling pain from my abdomen. Looking down, I can see Kidnapper holding the hilt of a knife with the blade in my stomach. Realizing what happened, I wanted to scream but instead I grunted in pain as the knife is removed from my stomach making me fall to the ground. Is this it? I thought to myself, is this how I die? Hey will you hurry up, I hear Kidnapper 1 from the distance. Right. Kidnapper 2 said before he hurries back to the van. No. I don't want it to end like this. I have to at least do something otherwise I would have died for nothing. I muster up some energy I didn't seem to have before and look up at the kidnappers. I can see the kidnapper 1 close the back door of the car before moving to the driver's seat. That's it. I thought. Mustering all the energy that I have left, I move one of my hand to the wound on my stomach and feel blood on my hand. Using my blood, I start writing down the car's license plate number on the ground in front of me. Making sure it's far enough so when I bleed out, my blood won't cover it. Just as I complete it, I can hear the car engine starting and soon darkness overtook my vision as I pass out. After I don't know how long, I managed to wake up with a painful groan. What happened? I thought I was stabbed but I feel like I was forcefully pulled by some massive force. That would be my doing. Not expecting anyone to reply, I was surprised so I quickly try to stand up and defend myself. Except I can't feel my arms or legs. In fact, I can't feel any part of my body at all. This made me feel more uneasy than I already am. Checking my surroundings, I found that I can still move my head. There seemed to be in an endless expanse of white all around. Nothing finding anyone around, I nervously ask, who's there? Huh? Oh right, I forgot you can't see me right now. Just a moment. Hearing the voice again, this time behind me. I quickly turn around just in time to see a bright flash of blue and white light making me close my eyes, on reflex. Opening my eyes, again, I can see a middle-aged man who seems to be in his late 30s standing there. Who are you? I subconsciously asked. I'm many things, God, ROB, or even devil depending if you are enemy or not, but you may call me Rai. Rai. His voice seems to have a calming effect to it as I can feel myself, relaxing. Where am I? You are in the void between worlds. Rai. Again, I seem to feel calmer as he talks. I should be freaking out not knowing what's going on but instead, I just feel normal. How did I get here? The last thing I remember is. I thought back to what happened. Right. I died didn't I? Yes, you did. That's also why you can't feel your body by the way. Being dead, you don't have one. Right. What? I quickly look down and around me. Not being able to find anything, I start to freak out again before another wave of calmness appears and, well, calm me down. Before you asked, you're just a soul right now so you can't really see in the traditional sense. That's why you should only see white all around you. You can see and hear me because I'm transmitting my image and voice directly into your mind. Dot. Rai. I assume you're also calming me down too. Thank you for that. No problem. Now, you should have more questions so ask away. Rai. What happened to Kane, did he manage to survive? You don't have to worry about that, Rai said then he waves his hand in a circle. His hand left an outline behind and as he completes it, the circle shines brightly before showing a picture of the two kidnappers being taken into a police car and Kane standing beside one of the orphanage caretakers. As you can see, Kane has been saved and the kidnappers have been captured. Thanks to you, they were able to find the car and hide out of the kidnapper before anything happened. Rai. Is that so? Then how did I end up in the void? I thought I was supposed to go to an afterlife. There is an afterlife right? Yes, there's an afterlife. For this world, there is a heaven and hell or you can choose to give up your memory and reincarnate. As for how you end up here, I pull you here. Rai. Eh. 
Well, that explains why I felt like I was pulled. But what does a god want with me? Hahaha, ha, ha, you see, being all powerful get boring sometimes. So I pull you here to give you a second chance at life in another world with your memory intact. Rai. And if I refuse? I'll just put you back and you continue on how you are supposed to and you forget this ever happened. Rai. Is there a catch to this? It seems too good to be true. At least you're a little smart. No there isn't, I'm just bored and sending someone to another world to see what going to happen will give me some entertainment. If you refuse, I'll just pick another person and ask until someone agrees. Rai. I'm not the first. No, there were three before you. They were old guys that just wanted to rest so they all decline. That's why I pick someone young this time. So what's your answer? Rai. There isn't really a need to think about this. Yes, I agree. I said excitedly. Great, as the first person I'll be sending to another world, I'll let you have three wishes to help you along. Rai smile. Before that, what kind of world will I be sent to? It's a world you know well, you know that world as One Piece. Rai. One Piece. Can't you send me to a different world? I don't want to go to a world where it's mostly water. Not to mention the fact that the only way to get a cool superpower is to get rid of your ability to swim. I complain. I can change it to another world, but you'll have to use up one wish for it. Rai. What? Why? Because I already set everything up, I just have to send you there. If you go want to go somewhere else, I'll have to do it again making the previous one useless. Rai replies calmly but I can tell he's a little annoyed. Ha ha ha, yeah. I said scratching the back of my head. Using one wish to be reborn in a world I want doesn't seem that bad. Beside most people won't even get the chance to do this and I can go to my favorite world. Alright I'm ready to make my wish. Good. Before you start, the wish has to be within reason or I won't grant them at all. So no wishing to be omnipotent like me or something similar. Rai. I don't want to become too powerful anyway. It'll be boring that way. Anyway, my first wish is to be reborn on Universe 7 Earth in Dragon Ball. Sigh, now my setup will go to waste. Granted, continue on. Rai. My second wish is to have the traits of the top three races with the most potential for combat. Huh. Rai smile widely, well, this one I can easily do. Feeling unease from the smile, I asked, why are you smiling like that? Rai just laugh at that. Ha, don't worry about it, I just remember something fun. Rai smile again. Right, as if that doesn't sound specious at all. Right. My third wish is a system that will help me survive and become as strong as possible. Done. Now off you go. Rai said, then he snapped his finger. Wait I still. Was all I get to say before the world turns black again. So Rai, you're going to send someone to another world? Rob? When did you get here? Rai. Just now. What world are you going to send him to? Arobi looks at the ball of light that is Ken's unconscious soul. Dragon Ball, Rai said smiling. And I have a surprise for him too. Ho ho, I assume it's something I'm going to like, Arobi smile too. Yes. By the way, you haven't told me your name yet. I can't keep calling you Arobi all the time. Rai. Ah uh, yes. My name is. I forgot, hee <laughs> hee, Arobi said embarrassed. You forgot. Rai said giving Arobi a deadpan look. Hey, don't look at me like that. I haven't used it in a long time, I just been going by Arobi or God. Hmm. Just call me Zero if you want. Zero. Zero. It's an okay name I guess. Anyway the Dragon Ball multiverse, Zeno should be on the level of a God King right? Rai. Yes, and the Grand Priest is on the level of a powerful first-class god with the two guards right below him in power just barely reaching first-class. All other angels are second-class gods and the gods of destruction are between second and third class. As for the Grand Kais, they are at the ranks of title Dolua. Zero, A slash N, I'm comparing them to Dolua Dalu, it doesn't really have any impact on the story, just something I made up for fun. That seems about right. What about Zalama, the creator of the Super Dragon Ball? Rai. Salama. He already reaches omnipotent, I actually met him a while back when I was traveling to different multiverses, a few thousand years before I send you to Dolua Dalu. Zero. He already left the Dragon Ball multiverse. No wonder we didn't see him in the show. 
Rai, A slash N, I also made this up. Yes, he became omnipotent then made the Super Dragon Ball before leaving so you can say the Super Dragon Ball is as powerful or even more powerful than a god king. Zero. Wow, should have known considering that the Super Dragon Ball can undo what Zeno did. Anyway, I'm going to the Dragon Ball world to set everything up, tell my wives that if they return before me. Rai. What? Don't leave me alone with your wives, they're scary to everyone but you. Zero said in a panic. Ha, don't worry. I won't be gone for long, I'm just going there to set everything up then I'll return. Rai said, then he snaps his fingers again and disappears from his current multiverse. Less than a second later, Rai and Ken's soul appear in front of a floating house that is the shape of the Japanese character all, with four rock pillars around it. A second later the Grand Priest, father of the angels, appears in front of Rai. The Grand Priest can feel danger form Rai just standing there, something that he doesn't usually feel unless Zeno is angry. Being caution, he respectfully asks Rai, may I ask who you are and why you're here? I'm Rai and I'm here to see Zeno about something fun, Rai replies casually. Before the Grand Priest can answer, a childlike voice said, fun. There is something fun. Where where? Before Zeno pokes his head out from behind the Grand Priest. Seeing Zeno, Rai walks up to him and said, yes, you see. I came to see you about this guy. Rai points to Ken's soul. I want him to be reborn here with his previous memory. If you watch his life in the future, every couple of years there will be cool explosions and fun fights. Rai continue making the Grand Priest worry. Lord Zeno, the Grand Priest said but Rai interrupt. If you are worried about him causing meaningless destruction, don't be. He the type of guy that would try to stop any destruction he sees. Which is why he would be fighting a lot. Rai. Zeno question, watching fight is fun. Yes, Rai said looking like he's trying to trick an innocent kid into doing bad things. Zeno happily yells, fun, fun, let's do it. Alright, I'll be leaving after he is reborn so just watch his life from here. Rai. Yes. Zeno. With that done, Rai leaves for Earth set everything up then return back to his earth. Thank god you're back. Your wives haven't returned yet. Zero. They haven't. Then what do you suggest we do while we wait for them? Rai. Zero thinks for a sec, I know, why don't I introduce you to Arthur? Arthur? Rai. Yeah, unlike us he is not omnipotent. Instead he's omniscient. He likes to go around recording people's adventures. He recorded your adventure too. Zero. Really? Where can I find it? Rai. It's on this website called Web Novel. The name is Dolua Dalu, Lightning God Ascension. Zero. Rai checked the novel based on his adventure. It's dropped. Why did he drop it when it was getting to the good part? I don't know, you should ask him later. Though I do remember him saying something about a Jump Chan coming after him. Zero. Jump Chan. Well, I guess you are not the only one that has trouble with women then. Rai. Hey. I don't have trouble with women. It's just that your women are scary. Zero. Sure. Tell yourself that. Rai said before leaving to find this author, and maybe make him finish his adventure. Hey. Get back here. I don't have women problems. Zero run after Rai. Rai stopped as a piece of paper fall in front of him. On the paper is. Dear Rai. I won't be finishing your adventure as I lost interest in it after running away from Jump Chan. Also, tell Zero that I won't come back to that world anytime soon as Jump Chan will arrive shortly. Love author. I guess omniscient being will be hard to find if they don't want to be found. Jump Chan huh? I guess things will get more interesting later. Rai. 98%. 99%. 100%. 99%. Ding. Assimilation complete. Waking host. Sounding alarm. Ding. 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 Arg, who left the alarm on, turn it off. As I wake up I can see. Wait. I can't see, what's going on? Am I blind, I panic and try to open my eyes but it feels like I don't have eyes at all. At this point, I'm really scared until a familiar wave of calmness swept over me. What's going on? Host is currently an embryo so host will not be able to see or talk. Who's there? Host? I thought back to what happened and try to figure out what's going on. 
Remembering my conversation with Rai, I thought, system. Yes host. So you are the system Rai give me? Yes. Damn. Is that the computer? Look at this. I'm sure this is what's going to become Cell. The voices sound familiar. System, what's going on? Who's talking? That would be Trunks and Krillin host. What are the Z fighters are doing here? Okay let's destroy it all. Hey! Wait a second. These are blueprints. What are they the blueprints for? Cell? No. It says, number 17 right here. I better let mom have a look at this. She might be able to figure out their weaknesses. Okay, I'm worried now, system, why does this sound familiar? Don't tell me this is what I think it is. It is host. Now I'm scared, is this body who I think it is? Affirmative. F asterisk 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 K, what the hell Rai? Did you send me here just so you can watch me die for fun? Sigh, calm down Ken, you won't get anywhere being angry, unless you are a scion, but that's beside the point. Anyway, system, boom crap, they started blowing up the lab. Starting system introduction and tutorial. Asterisk boo. Everything went quiet. S system what's going on? Creator allowed time to stop for the introduction and tutorial of the system. You can do that. It's a power given by the creator to only be used once for this purpose. Please choose, introduction, or, tutorial. Huh. Creator means Rai right? Phew, that means Rai didn't send me here just to see me die. Do introduction first, I want to know what's going on. Affirmative. Host is currently in Universe 7 of the Dragon Ball Multiverse. Planet Earth, age 767, May 12th. Host is currently in the embryo state of Cell. And now I know why Rai was smiling when I made my second wish. Of course, he would put me in Cell's body. Cell has the DNA of three of the most powerful race to ever exist in this universe. Scion Zenkai, Frost Demon Survivability, and Namekian's Regeneration. Wait. System, don't Bu have better regeneration? Shouldn't my second wish let me have the traits of Bu's race? No, Host's wish was for the three race with the most potential for combat. Bu has been alive for time immemorial and was still suppressed by the Scion who was not even close to a fraction his age. Huh. I guess that makes sense. What about the gods and angels? Since Host's soul is immortal, Host won't be able to handle the key of gods without training first. Otherwise, the god key will cleanse Host's soul making him be reborn a god. That doesn't sound so bad. It mean Host will lose everything that makes up Host including Host's memory. Right. Never mind. Start tutorial. Yes. Starting tutorial. System, support system. Stats. Skills. Inventory. Store. Select one to continue the explanation. No quest or mission system. No there isn't. The creator doesn't like the mission part of a system so creator didn't make one. What? Then how can I get currency for the shop? Please select shop to continue. Arg, alright. Shop. Shop. Weapons. Contain all weapons. Wearable, contain all armors, clothing, and accessories. Tech, contain all machine and machine parts. Note, does not include full android. Martial arts, contain all martial arts that ever exist including key moves. Magic arts, contain all magic ever develop. Miscellaneous, everyday items. Currency, 0 EP, earn from converting key. 1000 key equals 1 EP per min. Note, only contain items from current multiverse. That's a lot of shops. Hmm. System it says that the tech does not include full android. Does that mean I can buy individual parts to create my own androids? Yes, but host has to learn how to put them together first. I guess that's okay. So if I ever need help, I can just build helpers. Though I probably won't build androids, just regular robots. System, the last note. Does mean I can unlock more options in the shop if I manage to go to another multiverse? Yes, but you will need to reach close to the creator's power level to be able to go to another multiverse. How powerful is Rai then? Information not available. I guess that means no going to another world in the foreseeable future. What about weapons, can I buy the Z sword? Yes, but the sword won't contain old Kai as the old Kai was seal inside the Z sword, he is not part of the sword itself. 
Welp, there goes an easy power-up. How does the key to EP works? For example, if I get the infinite power cores of 17 or 18, does that mean I can get infinite EP? No, host can only convert key to EP based on host's PL, power level. If host has 1000 PL then host can only convert 1000 key to 1 EP per minute. Ah, and here I thought I found a cheat. Stats. Stats, unavailable due to host not being born yet. Huh. I thought it would at least sew something. Oh well, skills. Skills, zero skill. Should have expected that too. Inventory. Inventory, can store up to host PL slash 1000 cubic meter. Cannot store a living being. Can store plant life but not one with a conscious as they would be considered a living being. Tutorial complete. Introduction complete. Displaying creator's message. Rai left a message. I thought he's just going to disappear like all other ROBs or gods do after sending people to another world. Just like what Rai did before, the system transmits Rai's message directly into my mind. Ken. Good to see you again. You should be seeing this message right after you finish with the system tutorial and introduction so you should know who you are right now. Anyway, I'll keep this short. I know you probably don't want to look like a beetle forever so I took the liberty to change cell a little. There are a total of three important change. First, you don't need to absorb other androids to reach your perfect form anymore. All you have to do is train. Once you reach double the PL cell is supposed to be born with, you'll unlock your semi-perfect form. Double the power of the semi-perfect form and you'll unlock your perfect form. The second thing is you can choose a base form for yourself. You can unlock your base form by getting to your perfect form. Your base form will have about 10 times less power than your perfect form but the upside is you can make your base form anything you want. From how you look all the way to what race you'll pass down to your offspring. Rai smile wide at that and said. That means you can make a certain thing as big as you want. Anyway in all seriousness though, your base form will have a certain impact on you so choose carefully. Now for the third change, I know you'll want to have infinite energy and will probably try to get yourself an infinite power core. So in the interest of not having to watch you study for years trying to put a different core into yourself. I remove the core that allows you to absorb key and put the infinite power core there instead. That means you can't absorb key anymore but in return, you won't run out of energy. Well, that's all the major changes. There are other minor ones too but you'll just have to figure those out by yourself. Anyway, have fun and goodbye. I guess Rai is not as bad as I thought, but he's still an ass for putting me into Cell's body, and right before he's going to get destroyed too. Speaking of that. Hey system, did Rai leave anything that I can use to save myself from this situation? Yes, Rai left a starter pack, in there contain a one-time use item with no name. It will absorb all the key and energy from the surroundings to help host grow into imperfect Cell. That's great. That means I don't have to wait years just to be born. Open starter pack. Yes. Opening starter pack. Starter pack contains. One one-time use item, absorb key. One indestructible plain t-shirt, shirt is indestructible but doesn't provide defense. One indestructible plain jean, pant is indestructible but doesn't provide defense. One key control manual, a manual on how to control key. No overpower item. I guess I was expecting too much. System, Rai says something about a base form. Starting character creation. Starting character creation. Please choose your name. I guess that answers that. Now for my name. I guess I'll keep Ken as my first name. As for my last, Seru in respect for the previous owner of this body even if he was evil. Was Cell evil? I mean he's a bad guy but I don't think he's full on evil like Frisia. Now that I think about it, Cell is more like a kid with the power and thinking of an adult. I'm getting off track. Set the last name to Seru and first name to Ken, A slash N, Seru translate to Cell in English. Affirmative. Name set to Seru Ken. Select sex, male, female. My eyes went wide at that. I can change sex. Nope, not going to think about it. I'm keeping my little Kentucky. Male. Select race of offspring. Can only select one of the following, Frost Demon, Scion, Namikian, Human. Hmm. If I ever have a kid, I don't want them to be weak but I still want to look human at least. Set to Scion. Please imagine the look of the base form. I can look however I want but. 
System set appearance to look like my past self and set little Ken to be at least 9 inches when it fully grows. Setting complete. Well, that was embarrassing. If I have a face, I imagine I'll be blushing really hard right now. Confirm selection, yes, no. Warning host won't be able to change after confirmation so choose carefully. I won't be changing them anyway. Yes, confirm. Confirmation complete. Time starting. Suggesting for host to use the one-time use item. What? A little warning beforehand will be nice. Warning time will start after completing character creation. Arg. Not what I maya. Asterisk oom. Um. Boom. Crap. Use item. Use item. Confirm. Using item. Host will enter a deep sleep until the body is complete. And that was the last thing I heard before blacking out. Again. In what feels like the blink of an eye, I woke up again. System, you there? Yes host. Where am I? Host in a space created by the shield of the item when the lab explode. How long was I out? It took one week to grow host's new body. A week? That means future cell already reach his perfect form. Yes. Oh well, I can leave it up to the Z fighter to stop him. System, I can't just call you system all the time. Is it okay if I come up with a name for you? Yes. Hmm. I got it. How about Oracle? Confirm. Setting system name to Oracle. Stats. Stats. Name, Seru Ken. Race, Frost Demon, Scion, Namikian, Human. Sex, Male. Age, 0, 11. Power level, 350 million. Zenkai, 0. Skills. Flight. Key Blast. Key Sense. Kaya, a force generated from key use to knock an opponent back, A slash N, similar to how they blow everything away when they transform. Telekinesis. I Laser. Kamehameha slash variant. Big Bang Attack slash variant. Mouth Energy Wave. Death Beam, Frisia's Finger Laser. Spirit Bomb. Regeneration. Solar Flare. Android Barrier. Special Beam Cannon. Gallic Gun. Destructo Disc. Self-Destruct. Clone, 80% Power, created by Rai from Cell Jr. and Multiform. Traits. Zenkai. Tail, a tail used to grab, attack or defense. Frost Demon Physique, able to survive anywhere even in space like a Frost Demon. Infinite Key, as in doesn't run out, not infinite power level. Oracle, can you set my age and birthday to the same as my last life? Affirmative, setting complete. By the way, how come my PL is so high? I thought cell start out with 250 million PL and what's with all the skills, I'm pretty sure there was smaller robot going around gathering DNA for future cell that has been destroyed by Piccolo. Creator has taken DNA from all original, donor, and add them to the body before putting host's soul in. I guess Rai isn't. Nope, not going to tempt fate like that, or Rai if he's listening. Oracle, how long will it take to dig out of here? I suggest for host to stay here and practice key control first as host have unlimited key and can easily survive here due to Frost Demon's DNA. Don't I already know key control because of my DNA? Yes but the experience from host's DNA is not host's experience. Host will need to practice to gain better control of host's key. If not then host key will feel like a jumble of different key like future cell. I guess that makes sense. Okay, get me the key control manual. Done. Hearing the sound of a book dropping I look around only to notice that I can't see anything. I guess I spend too long just seeing black and white that I forgot I need light to see. Oracle, buy me a lamp. Insufficient funds. Right, I'm broke right now. How do I convert key into EP? Host can meditate and imagine storing key into a jar or let the system do the work. I imagine there are pros and cons to both options. Yes, doing it manually is faster but host won't be able to move. Letting the system do it will suppress host's PL by whatever amount that is set to be converted with half the efficiency, 2000 key to 1 EP. Hmm, for now let the system do it. I still need to practice key control. Set conversion rate to half my current PL. Affirmative. Done. I suddenly feel as if half my energy left me making me two times weaker. It'll take a while to get used to suddenly having half my power. After taking a minute to adjust. 
Oracle, what's my EP? And buy a battery lamp if there is enough EP. Current EP, 87,500. Battery lamp cost 2 EP. Current EP, 87,498. My eyes open wide at what I just heard. Isn't that too much? Host current power is 350 million. Right, I forgot about that. Not used to being so strong. Anyway, can you drop the lamp, with the switch on, next to me? Done. As soon as I heard that, a bright light appear blinding my eyes. Ah, my eyes. I already said warn me if something like this is going to happen. I suggest host close his eyes until it adjusted to the light level. Not helping. Just. Just give me a moment. I sigh as I close my eyes and wait until it stops hurting. Opening my eyes, I can see that I'm in a spherical room made of dirt and building debris. Phew. I glad my eyes are okay. Host has the DNA of a frost demon so his eyes will survive even more intense changes of light. Sigh, let's just get started on learning key control. I said as I got down to pick up the key control book. Opening the book, I sit down to start my first training in my new life. Even with the experiences from experienced fighters like Goku and Piccolo. It still took me a week to get the basics of key control down. Oracle, why did it took so long to master the basic? I thought Cell is supposed to have limitless potential like the fighter he was made from. Cell is the perfect fighter but Host will have to get his perfect form first. Until then most of the body's potential is locked. So that means training like a regular person until then. Go figure, Rai probably did this on purpose so things won't be too easy for me. What's my current stats? Main character. Name, Seru Ken, Ken Lee. System name, Oracle. Race, Frost Demon, Scion, Namikian, Human. Sex, Male. Age, 11. Power level, 225, 000, 400 million. I was just training the basic, how did my PL jump so much? Before host just has a mess of different key that host forcefully controls with the experience of others. Now that host finishes the basic, host has made the key his own resulting in an increase in power. So that means I shouldn't expect such a big increase in the near future huh? Host is correct. What's going on outside right now? Base on host memory, cell game begin tomorrow. Well, me going out there won't have any impact aside from getting myself killed so I should just continue training. Oracle, shop, martial arts. Affirmative. Martial Arts Shop. King Kai Fist 100 million EP, a martial art created by North Kai focuses on removing one's internal limitations and allow a greater yet more controlled flow of ki. Contain moves such as Kao Ken, World King Fist, and Genki Dama, Spirit Bomb. Kame Senen Ryu, Turtle School, 50 million EP, created by Mutant Rashi is focused around endurance and strength. Contain moves such as Kamehameha and Destructo Disc. Tsuru Senen Ryu, Crane School, 45 million EP, created by Rashi's lifelong nemesis Tsuru Senen, Crane Hermit, is similar to the Crane-style Kung Fu, using advanced moves to avoid the enemy and perform a precise application of force as well as redirecting the opponent's force. Contain Buku Jutsu, basically flying, and Dodon Rei. Kami Style 75, 000000. Don't I already know most of these Oracle? Yes, but like Key Control, it's better if Host learns them himself. Alright then. What is my current EP? Current EP, 882 million. Okay that's a lot of EP, stop the EP conversion. I think there is enough for now. Affirmative. I suggest for host to get ready for an influx of power. Thanks for the warning this time. Go ahead, I'm ready. Done. This time, like the opposite of what happened before. I feel a rush of power entering me, making me feel like I'm unstoppable. Is this what the Scion feels like every time they turn Super Scion? If so, I can understand why they would be so arrogant. Wait, no. Super Scion would probably feel 50 times better than this. I should make sure I won't let this power goes to my head when I reach my perfect form. I need to focus on my control for now so, Oracle, by King Kai Fist and Tsuru Senen Ryu. I can buy King Senen Ryu later when I got my control down. Affirmative. Buying King Kai Fist 100 million EP, buying Tsuru Senen Ryu 50 million EP. Current EP, 722 million. After getting my martial arts in the form of a book. It's time to leave this place and find a better spot to train. 
As I was getting out of my small training space I thought, so far I was only practicing my key control so the Z fighter didn't notice or find out about me, but now that I'm going to do more intensive training. I'm sure my key will be like a bright beacon for them. I suggest host by a training room that can block key. Huh. Oh, I forgot that you can read my thought. A training room? How much does it cost? Basic training room cost 100 EP. Basic training room that can handle host power 100,000 EP. Catch in training room 10 million EP. Unknown material from tournament of power training room 1 billion. Training room mod. Basic artificial intelligence 1000 EP. Capsule form 100 EP. Gravity control 1, 1 to 100 earth gravity 10,000 EP. Gravity control 2, 1 to 500 earth gravity 10 million EP. Gravity control 3, 1 to 1000 earth gravity 1 billion EP. Key concealment 1, 1 to 1 million place 10,000 EP. Key concealment 2, 1 to 100 billion PL 10 million EP. Key concealment 3, 1 to 1000 trillion PL 1 billion EP. That's a lot of stuff. Oracle, for now by Catechin Training Room with Gravity Control 2, Key Concealment 2 and Capsule Form. That should last until after Bu Sagas which is years from now. I can't buy the higher tier 1 anyway. As for AI. Hey Oracle, can you take the place of the AI during my training? Yes I can, but only if host is also inside the training room. Well, that's good enough for me. Other people won't be using this training room anyway. Alright Oracle, buy everything I listed. Confirm purchase. Current EP, 692,999,900. That's still a lot of EP left. Oracle do you have any more suggestion? Host can buy magic arts. Magic? It's not really that strong compared to key in Dragon Ball is it? Magic itself can become stronger than key. It's just that most magic users in this universe don't study combat magic so they seem weak against warriors. Hmm. I guess I'll look to see if there are any useful magic. Shop magic arts. Teleportation marker 100,000 EP, allow user to teleport to any place marked with by the user. Telekinesis 1000 EP, a technique that allows the user to manipulate objects and other people with the power of one's mind. Guru potential unleashed 1 million EP, can only be used on other. Old Kai potential unleashed 1 billion EP, can only be used on other. Energy absorption 1 million EP. Magic materialization. That's more magic than I thought there were. Oracle, I thought Kai Kai was also a magic art. The Kai Kai require GP to buy. GP? God EP, you can get by converting God key into EP. That means I won't be able to get it for a while. Is there anything else I know that require GP? Yes, Senza Bean and Trees of Might's Fruit slash Seed need GP to buy as it requires divine water to grow along with other godly items like Protina Earring. I thought the tree of might uses the life of a planet. The correct method is to use divine water but if there isn't any divine water the seed will pull energy all around it to grow resulting in it taking the life energy of a planet. Alright, by telekinesis, teleportation marker and energy absorption. Confirm purchase. Current EP, 691,998,900. As soon as that's done, another two books appear and I quickly put it in my inventory. Oracle isn't there a way for me to just know new information and skills that I bought instead of having to learn from a book. I can switch to downloading the information directly into host's memory but it'll hurt depending on the size of the information. You can do that. How much does it hurt? It'll feel like an object is being shoved into your head. The larger the information, the bigger the object feel. Ha. <laughs> right. I'll just stick to learning from a book until unless there is something I don't understand. After that, I spend the next 3 hours looking for a place to train. I finally found a small clearing in the middle of a forest that looks like a peaceful place settled down and landed there. Throwing down the training capsule, I went and start the next phase of my training. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later bye bye.